Hi, it's me, I'm Andrew Garfield, and I'm about to go undercover on the internet. It's actually me. What do you think about Andrew Garfield 10 years from now? This is like a Matthew McConaughey question. <laughs> Didn't he do that at the Oscars? He was like, just wanna thank my hero, it's me. 10 years from now, it's like, cool, <laughs> that's amazing. What a resource to be able to go, yeah, me, that's great. I'm down with that. Wikipedia, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Wikipedia, this is Wikipedia. Garfield was a gymnast and a swimmer during his early years and was also an avid <laughs> philatelist? I don't know about this. Is it, is it pronounced philatelist? I think that's a stamp collector. Because philatelist sounds like a different story that I'm not comfortable talking about. This is a strange thing. I've been asked a lot about it recently. So what's your most prized stamp? I'm like, <laughs> what? I'm not, I'm not a stamp collector. Yes, gymnast, yes, swimmer. I was ranked third in the under 13s 100 meter butterfly in the southern counties of England. Also ranked third as British schools gymnastics under 13s. One day in training, my Russian 200 pound gymnastics coach was sitting on my back doing a box split. And I thought, this is, this is not childhood. This is some form of torture that I wasn't comfortable continuing. Posted. Arachnologists Yuri M. Marusik and Ali Reza Zamani honored Garfield's portrayal of the role of Spider-Man by naming a new species of crevice weaver spider, Pritha Garfieldi, after him. I believe that's true. Pretty cool. Garfieldi, it's like, it makes me sound, it's a kind of Italian, but my original name was Gar Garfinkel, like my family's name was Garfinkel, so it's funny, from Garfinkel to Garfield to Garfield, Garfieldi or Gar Garfieldi, maybe it's Garfieldi because it's Latin. Never mind. Having completed the spiritual exercises of Ignatius of Loyola for silence, he said, what was really easy was falling in love with this person, was falling in love with Jesus Christ. That was the most surprising thing. I'm surprised to read it. And it's the truth. I, I had a very different relationship with the concept of Christ. And I'm pleased to say that I, I like him. I love him, I would go so far as saying. He's a pretty brilliant man when he was alive and still remains an amazing spiritual symbol of simple stuff, you know, like goodness, loving thy neighbor, doing unto others as you would have them do unto you. Apply. Uh, Reddit. Reddit. Ready for Reddit? I'm not ready for Reddit. All right, so this is the Tick Tick Boom official teaser. Complex Sapien 20 says WTF? Question mark. Andrew Garfield can sing. Uh, yeah, yes, define sing. Yeah, sure, I can, I'm not tone deaf and I trained a lot for this and it took me about a year and a half to get my chops up as it were and I had a lot of help and support and a coach. And I've always wanted to learn how to sing properly and, and this was definitely the opportunity to do that. Replied, uh, you fat and stupid, says, once with Andrew Garfield, simultaneously starring in two based on true story pro-Christian set in Japan movies, Silence and Hacksaw Ridge. What's with that? What's with Andrew Garfield doing this? Why, what right does he have? Who does he think he is doing films that are set in Japan, two in a row, and about Christianity? What, what's, his, what's his deal? Why are you angry at me, you fat and stupid? Like, I'm not calling you fat and stupid, I'm just calling you by your name. Um, don't do it, why? It's my choice, my life. It just happened that way. There were these two projects that I read. They both happened to be set in Japan. I happened to play a Catholic and a, and a Seventh-day Adventist in both. There are spiritual quest things, and they just appealed to me. Have you got better things to do than like, debate with yourself or other people who don't care about what I'm doing with my life. What are you doing with your life, you fat and stupid? You're not fat and stupid. You're, you're sweet. You're probably a sweet person. If we were in the room together, we would have a nice conversation. But this is not the way to talk about to me about my life and my work. Love you. Next. There's a picture of me as a child. And I'm wearing a little Spider-Man costume that my mother made for me out of felt. And it's epic. Since everyone is discussing suit ideas, might I say this suit being worn by a kid Andrew Garfield is my pick. My mother would be very, very complimented by that. I agree, this, <laughs> that would be the coolest. My mother's felt suit, awesome. Twitter. It's me, for real, seriously. Tobey Maguire was the best Peter Parker. He was not a good Spider-Man though. Andrew Garfield was the best Spider-Man, but was way too cool to be Peter Parker. Tom Holland is just the average for both. 
makes him the best because he's the only one that is decent at both. <laughs> okay, cool, man. Fine, whatever. Like, cool. That's your opinion, bro. Climb a tree. Toby is my favorite, right? Because that's my childhood. I think I watched the, that first Spider-Man film back to back like three times with my friend Terry McGuinness. And we were just incredibly high and we would like we would like do the lines to each other. And he just was cracking up in my face saying, you'll never play Spider-Man. And, uh, and now Sam, <laughs> now Sam, here we are. At Genghis Khan 17 says, someone put the idea of Andrew Garfield playing Joker for Pattinson's Batman. And after watching The Social Network, Mainstream and Silence, I have to say, I'm very interested in seeing him be a Joker. No, no way. I wouldn't go near it. Would not go near it. But sweet of you to think that it's possible, but I don't think I could ever do it because of what Heath did, what Jack Nicholson did. And, but then, of course, Joaquin's just like, did his own genius thing. At Hollyberry underscore 24 says, how does Andrew Garfield still have a voice at the end of Angels in America part one? So much shouting, crying face. Yes, oh, I don't know how I did it how anyone does that play. It's, it's, it's a crazy play. And the angel comes in and has sex with me and it's yeah, wild. That would make sense to people who have seen the play. Otherwise, you're gonna be confused by that. At Nate Fleming says, I would love to know how Andrew Garfield makes his acting choices. He's playing Jim Baker in the new film. He played a priest in Silence. He played the devout soldier in Hacksaw Ridge. I wonder why he's drawn to these roles. You know, I, I like to stretch. I like to stretch my consciousness and I like to feel as much empathy for as many people alive as possible. And I think that's what pretty what draws me to this range of people. I like to feel like I'm being challenged. That's, that's just me. I feel like Stephen Colbert will be a great kisser. I wonder if Andrew Garfield thought so too. Yeah. Now onto Quora. Now onto Quora. Now onto Quora. Why does Andrew Garfield appear on television shows talking with a British accent? It's just to to, to keep you on your toes. It's because I'm English. Like, why would it? Hmm. No, people do do that though, don't they? Like, Madonna has this weird. And didn't Britney Spears for a while have a, Brit a British accent? My my father's American, um, so I have had his semi-weird hybrid British American accent in my ear all, all my life. So maybe that's why I have easier time getting into an American accent. But yeah, no, I, um, this is my accent. <laughs> or is it? No, it is. How would MCU Iron Man treat Andrew Garfield Spider-Man? I, I definitely think Andrew Garfield Spider-Man would be pretty suspect of MCU Iron Man. I think he would be a little turned off by the excess, the billionaire, trillionaire sta status of Iron Man. I think it would rub my version of Spider-Man the wrong way. But you know, maybe there could be some influence there. Maybe my, my Peter Parker could wake Tony Stark up to his own egoic drives a little bit. We'll never know, we'll literally never know. What do I think about Andrew Garfield 10 years from now? Hmm. God, I don't want to go into existential crisis on camera. So stop it, Cora. I, I, I think I'll have children at that point. I don't want to be too old and have children. I'll be tired. I'll, I will be 48. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I'm going to say. That's, that's just a terrifying concept. It's actually me. Was Andrew Garfield so method the social network that he doesn't have any social media? I had a Facebook page for like a, a month. And then we did that film and I instinctively just deleted it and everything else. I was like, I have a feeling. I, so I'm, I'm thankful for that experience for many reasons, but also because it kept me off of um, that hellhole. What influenced Andrew Garfield to become an actor? To be honest, it came from a, a period of real lostness when I was a kid and I kind of let everything fall away. I gave up the gymnastics, I gave up the swimming. I was escape punk kid listening to Rage Against the Machine and Beastie Boys and like watching skate videos and smoking too much weed and I was lost. I was like a lost angsty kid. I was like, this can't be it. This can't be what life is. It can't just be the stuff that you're a doctor or you're a lawyer or you're in business and otherwise you're kind of like whatever. Like, like the arts just weren't a thing, weren't valued. I always loved movies. I'd never been to the theater. And then it was my mother. My mother was like, have you thought about something creative and artistic? Because she could tell I was struggling. And I tried everything. I tried painting, sculpting, music, everything. It was fine. But then the last thing I think I tried was a theater, a theater um, class outside of school. And that's all. And that, that was it. It was like the doors of perception opened up. And I was like, oh, this is where, this is where, this is where it's at for me. YouTube. 
top 10 pivotal moments from the social network. Spinstaz says, the acting here is that much more amazing when you think about how Fincher made them do it millions of times and usually Sorkin demands word for word. How did these actors do it? So there's something about how Fincher works where actually doing it millions of times means you, 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 you have it in your bones and in your body in such a deep way that you don't have to think anymore and you're just present with your fellow scene partner. And it creates these very lived in, simple, truthful performances. And then you're working opposite great actors like Jesse Eisenberg and you just tune into each other and it becomes this alive, unconscious kind of dance. You know, when you repeat a word over and over again, it becomes meaningless and then like you lose yourself, like that's what Finch is looking for. So actually there's a method to that madness. God damn it, Jimmy. Why didn't you ask him about the video <laughs> instead of the photo? I'd love to see what he'd come up with to dodge that. This is about um, this, um, this Spider-Man Photoshop thing um, that we talked about on Jimmy Fallon. Listen, at this point, people just ha like, I'm, I'm done. Like, you know, we'll all find out when the movie comes out and we'll either be very disappointed or we'll be very happy or like someone will say, I told you so. And another person will say, I told you so. We'll all find out. I'm, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> Next. All right, TikTok. No, I actually, I don't have TikTok. I, I actually don't have any of these. <laughs> or I might have Instagram, but it's like secret. And I, I have like one follower and it's like my best friend. <laughs> and we just share like pig videos or whatever. It's actually me. So we have an image. It's of three Spider-Man suits, Toby's mine and Tom Holland's. Andrew Garfield 83 says, which one do you think had the best suit? Um, I, out of these three, I actually like Tom's one the best, but I like the one from Amazing Spider-Man 2 the best, I think as well. All right, I'm, I don't want to do any more. Um, that was lovely though, I had a good time. Thanks for coming along on this wild ride. See you next time on this, this thing. Bye. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> <laughs>